Oh yeah, it's another uh, engine video of uh, one of the fellows that we had yesterday uh, that I had um, put in brushes and springs and it ran. And then uh, we tried it with the, um, the DC magnet fields and it ran. Uh, and then we plugged in the smoke and it smoked. And then I even plugged in the uh, headlight, LED headlight, and it's it lit. Um, and that was all just stuff laying on the table. But now I went back to my bag of tricks and I found a tender that I had built for another engine some time ago with a knuckle coupler. And I believe this is made for the plastic tender not sure and it has a smoke board um so why not i have digital reverse ac to dc smoke regulation a four pin interface two pins to the motor two pins to the smoke and the smoke drives the headlight because it's an led it's a milliwatt and a milliamp circuit not a drain and we have direction and speed through an American Flyer AC transformer here it comes you see jumpers to the track to the wheels conventional wheels this rail is hot this rail is hot they go up through one side to the other up to this power distribution board which is a AC to DC plus it creates a current for smoke Drives the smoke, drives the reverse board. Two wires go forward, two to the motor, two to the smoke, and the whole thing, the whole damn thing runs on steam. Now, this engine came to me in a box yesterday or the day before, I forget now, and I just put in brushes and springs and it ran and smoked. Then I put in a DC field to get the heat because the uh, I was running four amps and I was putting a lot of heat out. So today I put in my digital reverse power distribution board and the smoke regulator just to show you that one, two, three, four parts. Oh, and I put in my little uh, firebox uh, ash pit simulation. Oh, and the LED. So I now have the coupler. You can see how it's connected maybe underneath. We also have a fire, a fire bulkhead that we can put in here that gives you flickering fire. I don't know, boys. Um, you know, it's kind of kind of interesting to me because what that says is this this could go on the track. Hear that? You know what that means? She's coming around a corner. All right, let's do a backup. Are we backing up? Yeah, we're backing up. We're backing up. All right. Let's go forward again. Neutral, forward. Check it out. Reverse, forward. Reverse, forward. Uh, I tricked, I went too fast. And, uh, and the whole time, look at that. Even at low speed. Even at low speed. And you know why? Because this is a buck boost board. This is boosting the power at low speed to make sure you got it. Now, it's pretty heavy smoke there. We may want to crank it down just a tad. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Probably not. Probably not. I'll have to do it later. That's a lot of smoke. May not need it. But that shows you if you want it, you got it. That's what it shows me. You know, this could go on the rails. If I could find a way to keep this, keep these wires up out of the way, it could go on the rails. We could pull. We could see what it pulled. It does not have traction tires. I guarantee you it'll pull something. Let me know.
Oh my goodness, this is one of those old. This is a. This was a uh, one of my junker tenders that came in the box, uh, and it's screwed together. It's it's really, it's really no good. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> so um, I just had it built for another engine, and I thought, let's try it. Um, so. This could, you could put your body back on, you put your tender body back on. This was the tender body that came with it. I had painted it for a, uh, a frozen display, and then I changed my mind and did something else. Um, I did give the little girl the, the ice train and the frozen display, and she loved it, but in a different paint scheme. Yeah. Any rate, um, I like to build things for people. Anyway, um, so this is what this is this is amazing. I mean this engine came, we didn't know what it was, bag you know, pig in a poke. And there you go. Now you got digital reverse. Um AC to DC. DC to the motor to the heater doesn't care. It's regulated, so you can crank it up or down. And you've got uh, no fingers. No fields overheating. Got rid of that bulky thing altogether. You can put another piece on here if you want. I don't know. But one thing we used to do was put a little magnet on here and put a little sensor, hang that sensor out over here, and then wire it back into a soundboard, and we'd have digital chuff sound. Every time that magnet went by, the chuff sound would take off. Notice the light was on. Anytime there's power to the smoke, the light's on, reverse or forward. If you wire it to the motor, you take the positive and negative, and you can switch it so that it's only on when the uh, motor, the engine is going forward. Yeah, you can do the same with the rear lights. You have a backup light. You can put it on, flip it either way to show when the uh, rear light's on. Uh, it's in reverse. You can put in, this was actually made for uh, rear lights, emergency lights. Um, and I have a scheme for doing that, so we can do that. That's, that's all other stuff. But from the basic point of view, one, two, three, four parts. And if you have an engine and it's not working well, you can get rid of the fingers, you can get rid of the overheating fields and um, you know I think you get a runner and it runs just like oh my god it runs just like you normally would drive it with the transformer we're not changing any of the user inputs or interfaces and all of these parts believe it or not just bolt on you just put them in place you take it apart, you put it back together, replacing the old with the new. Right? And where's <laughs> it? Yeah, that. There you go. You take this stuff off, and you put that other stuff on, and it works. I think AC would be happy to see you playing with your trains more if you did this. That's my feeling. Of course, I'm a bias. We create all this. All right. Um, I'm going to put it on the rails. I can't help myself. I'm going to try to find a way to tie that thing up so it stays out of the way. And let's just see. Let's just see it go down the track. Uh, that would be fun. Even without a body, who cares, right? I mean, I have a 290 body I could put on there, I suppose, and a, and then a standard uh, tender, plastic tender. I mean, we could, I guess. I don't know. Some people need to see it with a body on it. I surely don't. If I had a body that was clear, I could see through it. I'd, I'd like that. I like the machine is what I enjoy the most, obviously. I guess you guys can see that a little bit. Make the machine work. And it has a functional coupler. Very nice. Okay.
Well, I'll see what I can do with the boss and time it wise, and I'll maybe I'll get this on the rails later. Well, I wasn't too sure, but it seems like it's okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> I hit something down there. Better watch out. I got to be careful because it's just it just wants to go. And it's smoking like crazy. <laughs> I don't know what's down there, but it crashed. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll figure that out and I'll get back to you guys later. Oh yeah, it, it hit that decoration down there and just changed directions on me. I didn't realize it was in neutral actually. Thought I'd go ahead and see if I can back it up. That tender's not the greatest, so it may derail on me, I don't know. Looks a little goofus. Yeah, see it's hopping around. It's off, yeah. I'll fix that right here. I'll just fix that right here. That front uh, wheel pops around on us. So there's neutral. There's neutral. There's neutral. <laughs> this happened to me. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I, I, then I went up, did it by hand. It takes off. I think the wheels are dirty, and it's not sensing that on-off signal. That's what I think, because that tender is a dog. It is a dog. Right. It is. I don't know. You think I should try to pull something with this thing? I mean, I suppose. You, I mean, it's a train, right? You're supposed to pull things with them. I don't know. I'll get past that switch there. I'll shut her down. And I got cattle cars. Is that good? Cattle cars? I think cattle cars would be okay. He won't get offended if he has to pull cattle cars. <laughs> I got a few. We could try them out. I don't know. He's got a he's got a coupler on there. He may spin. I don't know. He, he may not be able to do it. <laughs> he just doesn't. I'm pretty sure it's the dirt. Yeah. Well, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. Five box cars, and one of them in a, is an unloader car. They spin in a little bit. It's getting 16 volts. Pulling 1.9 amps. 1.9 amps with that load and the smoke and the headlight. We'll take that, won't we? We'll take it. And smoke. <laughs> He's working. He's working, but he's not cooking. He's just working. Unbelievable. And no traction tires and no body. He was in a box two days ago. Yeah, it's just, I think it's the wheels. I'll clean them. Or I'll, that tender trucks are bad anyway. But Okay, I'm going to have to go upstairs now. Um, I wanted all you guys to see you don't have to cut. You don't have to do massive wiring projects. You don't have to learn electrical engineering. You just have to know red to red, black to black, and be able to screw things together, unscrew them, and put them back together with different parts, and it really will work. Right? Um, I get the other engine going. It has a... I have an idea for it with a different tender. Not sure yet. We'll see. 
if I can pull that off. I've got another tender here I could throw at it that's all ready to go. Oh, and look, it's Link. So we could try that big engine on the aluminum cars if we wanted to. I have another one over here, but it's a little, little beyond your level right now. That's a level two digital sound. Yes, another day. We want to look at it from uh, the reverse smoke, reverse smoke, and DC fields. Because that is easy. It's not expensive. You can do it yourself. You get a little dirty, but, you know, it washes off. Okay. All right. And this doesn't have anything sophisticated, really. I mean, that's the uh, 0103 clone reverse board. That's just the power distribution panel. It's, it's a rectifier with outlets. And then this is a buck boost board that comes in a, in a plastic bag. You have to solder these up. But soldering wire into a hole is pretty simple. You can use your old harness, you can make a new harness, you can route it down underneath, you can run it and plug it in, whatever you want to do. And this is a this is the two screws. Take it apart. Clean your motor while you got it down there. Polish the armature plates. Put in new brushes and springs. Lube it. Make sure your backlash is not too much and not too little. No binding. Clean your wheels. Spray them down. Put some lube in there. Make sure they're not binding. The linkage is straight. Clean them up. Take them off and polish them. I polish them till they shine like chrome if I can. Clean your gear. Make sure there's no grease caught in there. Clean the piston out. Don't even take the lid off. If it's smoking, don't take the lid off. You take the lid off, you're introducing risk. You don't need it. If it smokes, don't touch it. You can put the light on. Cut the light leads. Solder these on. You should put shrink wrap on there to protect the joints. I was in a hurry. But this light, then you just align it when you assemble it, and you just have it right behind the lens of the existing uh, boiler cover where the old light was. You just put it right behind it. And it is bright enough. It'll push light out through that plastic lens. You'll see. You'll have the smokes, the seam, so that's a no-brainer. All this fits in the tender. I don't know. I think we put this in, it's in as a kit now on our page. You can buy this, you can buy these pieces all together. I may or may not have the headlight in there, but we'll figure that out. We'll give you some wire. It's pretty straightforward, boys. All right, I got to go up and help Margaret. She's got a bad leg and she needs help, so think it over. Check it out. We're having fun. Engine number two coming up. Hallelujah.